Hey guys, it's GameStack Hunter and this is week four of garage sales and for the month of May. This morning I got up, I had a, a good amount of cash with me. Uh, I thought I was going to a community garage sale that had over 300 uh, houses. I got there and I didn't see any garage sale signs and I was really wondering what's going on and then I double checked and found out that was the previous weekend. Um, luckily I wasn't too far from my normal spot that I go. I did hit one spot in the, in the area that had a garage sale and I scored something fairly decent. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I was in that area to get it and it was my first garage sale that I hit. Um, other than that, I got some decent scores, but I still feel like I need more. So tomorrow I'm going to go check out the swap meet and just see if I can find any other really cool scores. Um, so let me start out with showing you the first thing that I got from the garage sale um, was in this Game Boy Advance SP case. And what it was, uh, as you can see, I don't have anything in it now because I took them out, um, but it was uh, two Game Boy Advance SPs. This one's in much better condition um, and plays fine. This one isn't, isn't as good a condition. Um, and, and the cart, you really have to kind of like make sure it's in there tight in order to get it to work. Um, but um, they both uh, they both work. I tested them. They, I mean, they still have charge and everything like that. Um, and uh, it came with some games. And I paid $10 for this and the games you're about to see. So I got the blue one. Um, and it's in pretty good condition for the most part. It does have some wear. I mean, most of them do have a little bit of wear here. But other than that, I mean, it's in pretty good condition. And this one was to have been the first one that got replaced because, um, like, the charging thing right here uh, is, is kind of, like, messed up. But, I mean, obviously it still charges because it has charge. And it's kind of dirty and grimy, so I'll be cleaning it up. Um, but I should hopefully get, like, 30 bucks for the both of these. Maybe a little less because this one, I mean, I'm pretty honest about when I sell stuff. So I'll let people know and I'll probably reduce the price a little bit. Um, but anyways, I paid $10 and I got both of these, the case, and then I got, um, these games right here. And one of these games I know I sell, it sells for like $10. So it kind of covers, you know, what I spent already, which is Mario Super Circuit, Mario Kart. Um, uh, and then I got, um, Mater National Championship. And then I got, um, Life, Yahtzee, and Payday. And Pitfall, and Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland, and I just sold this one today. I think I sold it for like eleven dollars. So cool. I mean, uh, so that worked out pretty good on those. And it was my first one, so I kind of figured, well, at least the days, you know, on a on a decent start. I spent ten bucks, and I knew I got at least like sixty, seventy dollars worth of stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then I went around, and I only got a few little things here and there. Um, these two was what I got at the second garage sale. And they're both sealed, um, which would be uh, SpongeBob, Super Sponge, and uh, Disney Club Penguin. This one sealed is going on eBay for about 14 bucks, and uh, I think this one's going for like seven, six or seven dollars or eight dollars. I don't know, something like that. Um, and they're both sealed, so that's cool. I will always buy sealed like PlayStation games and DS games, no matter what they are, just because I mean they're worth something, and someone out there wants to buy them sealed. So um, not bad. I paid a, I think I paid a dollar for both of these. So that's a good. That turned out to be a pretty good deal. Uh, I think the next one I went to, I picked this up, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and um, I made a listing on eBay trying to sell Grand Theft Auto Three because I put the other one of these that's mint condition in my collection, and I guess I just wasn't paying attention and I listed San Andreas even though it had the Grand Theft Auto Three picture, and I sold it and I was trying to figure out what to do with the buyer, but now this is problem solved because this is in, is in fantastic condition, so I'm just gonna send this out, but I paid a dollar for it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I like to resell these even though I make a few bucks, just because they're cool games. So I figure someone out there should have it, so I always buy these in San Andreas and, and Grand Theft Autos and, and resell them, so we got that. I am looking for Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 on PlayStation 1 though. I hope to find them at, at some point. Um, the next one I got I paid $2 for, and this is Infamous, and um, it sells for like $8 on eBay. Um, but it's a fantastic game. I mean, if for eight dollars you should buy this game and play it, especially um, because it's you know, Second Son just came out, and um, you can play this retro. You know, go back and visit the original story for just a few bucks. So you should buy this game. It's a great game. The next one I got was um, Unreal Championship Two, and uh, this one sells pretty well. Um, it may wind up in my collection because it's in such good condition. Um, it does have the sticker on it, and I'll take those off. But um, I, I'm pretty. A lot of people. I've heard a lot of stuff about this game. It's it's holding its value well. So the next one I got was uh, 
Sega Superstar Tennis, and I got it because it has Sonic, uh, and I paid a dollar for it, and it's complete in manual, so um, I figured I'd snag this, uh, and I like tennis games and everything like that, and I figured let's see what Sonic has to do instead of, you know, Mario Tennis, so that was kind of cool, and um, let's see, the next garage sale, I got Blu-rays, um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and uh, the Goblet of Fire. I got both of these. Um, I don't really keep track of my Blu-rays, and I need to make a list because at this point, um, I'm, I am starting to see some Blu-rays, If and I'm going to start asking for them too. Um, but I paid two dollars for them, so I figured even if I, I I might have this one, and even if I do, I mean for a dollar, whatever, you know, no big deal. So a couple Blu-rays. The next stack um, I'm going to show you. I paid uh, ten dollars for this game stack. And I'm uh, pretty happy about it, right here. Nintendo 64 games. Um, let's see here. I'll show you. I got Star Wars uh, Episode One Racer. I got Nuclear Strike 64. Now, I don't know if any of these are worth anything. I haven't looked them up yet. Um, Wipeout 64. This one might be worth something. I, I think Wipeout's always been pretty popular. And then um, a bowling game called uh, Milo's Astrolanes. And uh, F1 World Grand Prix. Now, they're dirty, but I'll clean them up. I haven't cleaned them up yet. Now, the ones that I got that are amazing in the stack, and um, I'm going to keep... Um, well, I don't, I'm not really a Pokemon person, so I don't think I'm going to keep this one. I might. Uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. And it's kind of cool because it's got the, you know, it's a dual color. Um, however, it did belong to a guy named Connor C. So... Um, I'm probably going to have to clean that up. I can take them off without damaging them. If you're real careful, you can do it. Um, the next one I got was uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Which, this one is going to the collection. Super Smash Brothers. Going to the collection. Once again, Connor C. Uh, and then this one right here is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask with the hologram. Uh, and that one's going into my collection too, so... Um, so that's what I got for the Nintendo 64, and that was a really good deal for the stack of games. Um, pretty excited about about picking those up, especially because I just started collecting Super Nintendo, Nintendo GameCube, and all that other stuff. And then lastly, I got America's most exciting home video game by far. It is the most exciting. It says it right there on the box. So I think it says it on the side. Yeah, right there on the box. So what it is, it's an Odyssey 200. Um, the box is in fantastic condition. I paid ten dollars for it, um, and if you open it up, I mean the thing is like new condition, like new. I mean it doesn't. It, if you hand it to me, it's it's so crisp and, and like white and not dirty at all. I mean if you handed this to me and said this thing is brand spanking new, I would be like holy crap. I mean I don't I don't think there's many out there that. I mean maybe there is, but I I, I kind of doubt that there's many old this old of a console that's in this good of a condition that has the box. So, um, I'm going to have to really, really write it up well on eBay so I can let people know that this is this is a fantastic condition Odyssey. So anyways, I hope you like my video. I hope you like my finds. Um, I'm going to go tomorrow to the swap meet, so I may be putting out, well, it'll be today because, you know, the day I'm releasing the video is tomorrow. So I'm going to go back on Sunday to the swap meet and hopefully I'll pick some stuff up and then I'll, I'll post what I find there. I usually find something, um, but I'm a little bit more picky these days, and I'm a lot wiser, so I don't just buy every video game that comes across my plate. And um, I'm a little, I'm not sure if Sunday is a good day to go because I would assume that most of them were there on Saturday, and all the game hunters dug through all the boxes and everything like that. But maybe there's some people who only do Saturday, so I'm going to be there first thing in the morning. So if you like it please thumbs up um, and let me know, hey, I did a good job. And if you really like my stuff, then subscribe so that way I know you want to see more stuff from me. So thank you very much for your time and uh, happy game hunting, guys. Thanks.